Welcome to Travel Scott channel. In this video, I will show you how to install Jenkins CI on Windows 10. So, let's open browser and Google Jenkins. Jenkins is one of the most popular CI tool in the world. So, on the home page, we have download button. Let's click it. And let's scroll to LTS long term support version is 2.23 and uh, choose for Windows. And we will see that MSI file starting downloading. So let's start, save this file. So on Windows computer, this Jenkins CI will be installed as a service. So it was installed. Let's open. Jenkins MSI file and uh, let's click OK. And we see that we have this setup wizard. Let's click next. Default pathway will be installed. Let's leave it as is. So we have two types of logon as uh, the first one is run service as local system and uh, as local or domain user. We will choose the first one because of we don't have account and password. So by default port will be 8080. We can test it. Is it available? So it's available. Click next. So here we see that it passed to Java. So the problem is that we need uh, Java 11 to, for Jenkins, but we have Java 14. We can try to install it, but I'm not sure if it will work. So let's click finish. So as you see we have problem with Jenkins because of we have not a proper version of Java. So let's install proper version of Java and try again. So let's go to oracle.com products products Java download Java GDK. So we see that it's 14, but we need version 11. So let's click GDK download. And uh, here we will choose version for Windows. This one. So we accept all agreement and uh, download this version. On this page we need to sign in or create a new account. I have account so I will sign in. And now we can download this file. So let's save it. When it was downloaded, let's click and install. So we have a GDK. So let's click next, next. So we see that it was successfully installed. Let's close it. The next one, let's go to the disk C program files. Java and we have two versions of GDK. Let's go to 11 and uh, copy this path. Copy. Then go to system settings system and change variable names. Edit system variable environment variables. Go to environment variables. And uh, so we have pass. Let's edit. So in pass we have pass to Java 14. 
Now we need edit it, update with Java 11. So it will pass for bin file folder. Let's click OK. And also let's find Java path. Java home. Edit this one and uh, as well we will update paste, and delete bin part. So let's click OK. OK. Close everything. The next let's check Java version. Let's go to system variables. We already changed this variable, but let's go to path. When we installed Java, there was added this path to Oracle Java Java path. And if your version wasn't changed, just delete, delete this one, and uh, then you will have the current version of Java. In our case, it's 11. So I already deleted it, reinstalled Java, Java 11, and it works. So and now we can check. So it doesn't work. It means again let's go to variables path edit delete this one okay okay close so version 11 it's what we expected okay the next one let's delete install jenkins and install it again Let's go to apps and uh, we will find Jenkins. We need uninstall it. And uh, let's install Jenkins again. We have it in downloads. Path will be the same. It's not recommended way. Port. Then we need to change version for Java. Click next. Next and install. Let's click finish. So after a while it was service was started and now we can install our Jenkins. So what we need? We need to go to secret password. Let's copy this path. Okay, in system 32, let's go to config.
then system profile, continue, update, local, Jenkins, Jenkins, secrets, and uh, we will see initial admin password. Let's open. This not part, for example. And we see this password. Let's copy. Paste. Continue. This password was generated specifically for your instance. Then save it and we can we can install suggested plugins or select. I would recommend you to choose suggested. And we see the installation process. So everything was installed and now we can put our username and the password. And you can put some your email. So it will be interesting configuration where we can put some Jenkins URL, let's leave it as is and save and finish. Let's start Jenkins. And as you see we have Jenkins, we have our user, so let's log out and log in again. We will use login and password we put previously. So as you see Jenkins works fine on your Windows computer. So thank you for watching.